What to know about bringing pills, liquid medications, and syringes when traveling? It's not a bad idea to bring medications when traveling. You'll never know when a headache or an allergy may strike. But you must educate yourself on which drugs are okay to bring everywhere. Remember, strict rules and screenings are in place in many territories worldwide. Let's start with what medications are banned. The most common banned substance is, of course, narcotics. This includes prescription painkillers like codeine and methadone, and the best way to avoid an issue is not to bring any. You have to do some consultations with your doctor and the embassy of the country you plan to visit. Get a list of banned and acceptable medications from the embassy and have it reviewed by your doctor. This way, your doctor may provide better options that won't lead to a ricus once you arrive at your destination. Some countries that have strict rules include Japan, which forbids select allergy and sinus medications, and the United Arab Emirates, which can put travelers in jail if they bring narcotics. Next is the amount of medications you should bring. Dr. Julian Klapowitz of Travel Medicine Consultations told the points guide to prepare for a month's worth of your medications. Don't forget to bring the prescription for each drug, so security won't have major issues. Get an updated prescription to be sure. If you are bringing beyond what guidelines accept but not violating laws and got the prescription, give the security the time it needs to sort everything out. Don't forget that the central point is the type of drugs you have with you. You may run out of medications or need something you don't have. You can walk in pharmacies or local drugstores in many regions, including Europe. Unsure? Consult your embassy to learn where you should buy them. Sometimes, drugs are only made in liquid form or with syringes, and you can't leave them behind if you have a chronic condition. What you can do is declare these products, especially those that require syringes. Planes don't allow sharp, pointy objects, and so do your preparations. It's advised to have a complete set of documents, prescription, doctor's note, and the declaration form. According to the TSA, you don't need to present your medication or notify an officer about it unless it is in liquid form. TSA noted, Medication in liquid form is allowed in carry-on bags in excess of 3.4 ounces in reasonable quantities for the flight. Don't forget to mention the officer of your liquid medications before the checkpoint process starts. You don't want them to accidentally spill the products. Have you brought medications in liquid form or with syringes during travel? How's your experience at the screening area? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Till our next video, thanks for watching.